Welcome everyone. Today we have the co-op event ready for the global server. So what you're going to see is over here on top, you can see the function to enter the global event with the co-op. So going to Element Crucible, you start with talking to Temis first. We're going to skip that, run towards Temis, and this should start you up with a quest. And if you wonder who Temis is, he's is actually the alchemist next to the alchemist bench over here. After speaking to Temis, he will promote us to come to the Thousand Winds Temple. And by getting there, we can then start the co-op event. As you get to the temple, be aware there's a ruin guard. Depending on your current world level, you should be able to defeat the temple guard. This is not a part of the event, this is just a random elite mob. Now we can click on the elemental crucible to start the matching. And once you can see the matching successful, you have 30 seconds to join the party. And I'm going to click confirm, and now we're going to join the party to be a part of the four-man co-op event. Once you have joined the party, you will see a lot of players doing a lot of different damage and you can activate elemental triggers with them. You can also enter to type and to chat with them, but usually players are more focused on the event. You can see we'll have a timer of total 15 minutes. The event will not take more than 15 minutes, of course. It will take much shorter. So what you're going to do is you're going to fight waves of monsters. As you fight them, the second wave of monsters finishes and then you're going to have a bunch of the elemental crucibles available. After defeating a few waves of enemies, what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of those elemental crucibles. And what you want to do is you only want to pick up one at a time. What you're going to see the mistake I make is I pick up one which is Hydro. I'm going for another Cryo. And on the rules of this particular event, you don't want to pick up multiples of those. Because they, kind of, they will kind of explode onto each other. I'll show you over here. So notice I picked up one more and I kind of deleted one. That's what you don't want to do. What you want to do is after pick up one, you want to run back to the crucible and the crucible will take this and increase your progression over here. There's a lot of the small ones and at the start you don't get any elemental buffs for picking up different ones. Later you'll get those buffs. The process is going to repeat. Different waves of monsters are going to come and you're going to fight those monsters. As you fight them, the elemental crucible cubes will be dropped and you go for those in each of the phases. Now during a certain period of the phase, you're going to see a small buff. Now it's saying you have been buffed with Hydro Elements, and if I start to pick up Hydro Cubes, this will increase the progression with everybody. And that's why I'm going for Hydro Cubes. Notice that both of us are going for one cube, this kind of wastes a bit of time, so go for the cubes that no one's going for. I was a little concerned of my pin that's over 320, it's not a problem over here, because everyone is using their own individual local client to play the game, to fight the monsters. The pain is only affecting when you loot the final item, which is not a problem for me as well. Similarly, over here you can see that I'm buffed with Pyro, and I'm picking up some of the Pyro cubes. Sometimes as you pick up the cubes, they will explode, and dealing elemental effects and damage to you, but that's not a big factor. And after collecting all of those cubes, we have accumulated enough to activate the Crucible and to finish the event. Notice it required us to go for 15 minutes to finish it, but actually we only spent about 4 minutes for this particular event. You can also add other players as friends over here. You can also see what are the achievements you made during the event. Some people are transporting more than anybody else, some people are defeating more opponents during the transmission, so you can see your kind of achievement for those. Now for the more important part, what are the rewards for this particular co-op event? Let's have a look here. You can see actually I'm currently on world level 4, and the loot I get per event is based on the world level. On top of that, there are also achievements we can get with the Alchemist Handbook. Coming into the Alchemy Handbook, you can see there are one-off achievements, so we cannot repeat those. But upon achieving those particular criteria, we can acquire those rewards much more quickly. You can see on my first round, I actually finished those achievements. We'll go down for more of the achievements. So you can see that after getting 20 gems, I have 40 more gems, 80 more gems, and 160 more gems to go. So in total, if I play 20 of those co-op events, I can technically get 300 crystals or 300 primal gems. Coming over here to the reward section, each time we run the event, we'll get 200 adventure experience, which is the same as to spend the same reason or anything else. And this will require us to run 80 times. So in order to understand how can we get our hands on the 300 primal gems quickly, you can have a look over here. So it's going to cost us 800 reason. And every day we get 180 reason for free just from the region. So over the period of 7 days for the event, we're looking at 1260 reason. This is over 800 reason, so that means if you focus 2 thirds of your reason onto this particular event, you will get all of the rewards. Now there's something on the side as well. If you guys have seen our previous guide to this event, 
if you spend 50 gems for additional of 60 risen every day, you will get 240 risen daily. And this will take us down to about 3 to 4 days to finish the event, and it's faster than our pace. Also at the same time, be aware, if you still want resource or if you want, want to farm particular daily dungeons, you can still do so. So I'll actually recommend to not speed this up too quickly because we still have 7 days and make sure you still do the daily dungeons which are essential for your power ups as you get to level 20, 25, 30 and 35 and beyond. Now what I'm planning to do is make another video on focusing on guides to make the co-op clear faster. I know we have to do it 20 times and it's better if we can do it faster and get more achievements out of those. So stay tuned, I'll be making more videos on the co-op event guys. Now if you found this video helpful, Make sure you subscribe and also click the bell for more videos like this to come. As always, I wish you guys best of luck in catching and also have a great time exploring this beautiful world. I'll see you guys next time. Take care everyone.